what is the difference between vultures and condors? Are condors just big vultures with a fancy name? Or are they completely different birds? If you've ever looked up at a huge bird circling overhead and wondered if it was a condor or a vulture, you're not alone. Both condors and vultures are large, bald-headed scavengers that play cleanup crew in nature. Yet there are some key differences between vultures and condors that can help you tell who's who. Today, I'll walk you through these differences. And by the end, you'll know exactly how to spot the difference between these two carrion-loving birds. Size and Looks Both condors and vultures have that trademark bald head and broad wings. But size is the first big giveaway. Condors are huge. They are the largest flying land birds in the Americas, with wingspans up to 9.5 feet. By comparison, most other vultures are much smaller. For example, a turkey vulture has a wingspan of about 5.5 feet. In weight, an adult condor can weigh more than 30 pounds, whereas a turkey vulture is only around 3 to 4 pounds. In other words, a condor is like the heavyweight champion of the vulture family. It's giant in comparison. Apart from size, their color patterns also differ. Adult condors typically have bold patches of white under their wings. If you see a big black bird with a bright white triangle on the underside of its wings, that's a condor. Turkey vultures, on the other hand, have a more subtle two-toned look. Their underwings have silvery gray edges, not white patches. And what about those bald heads? Both condors and vultures have naked heads, a clever adaptation to stay clean while eating messy meals. But condors tend to have larger, more colorful head skin. For instance, adult California condors have a striking pinkish-orange head, while turkey vultures have smaller, reddish heads. One more thing to notice is how they hold their wings in flight. Condors are strong gliders. When a condor soars, its wings are held straight out flat, like a plane, and it looks steady as a rock. Vultures, especially turkey vultures, tend to hold their wings in a slight V-shape and often wobble or teeter as they fly. Habitat and Range Where do these birds live? Here's a big clue. Unless you are in a very specific place, you're probably seeing a vulture, not a condor. Condors have a much more limited home turf. There are only two species of condor in the world, one in South America and one in North America. The Andean condor lives in, you guessed it, the Andes Mountains of South America, often soaring over high cliffs and open mountain grasslands. The California condor lives in a few parts of North America, notably in the coastal mountains of California and the Grand Canyon area, and in Baja, California, Mexico. Condors need a lot of space and specific conditions. Being so large and heavy, they rely on strong wind currents and big cliffs or tall trees to help them take off and glide. Vultures, on the other hand, are far more cosmopolitan in the Americas. The turkey vulture, one of the most widespread New World vultures, ranges from southern Canada all the way to the southern tip of South America. You can spot turkey vultures in deserts, forests, farms, and suburbs, pretty much anywhere it can find a meal. They're extremely adaptable. They roost in woodland or on rocky outcrops at night, but spend the day soaring over all sorts of habitats, from tropical jungles to beaches. Behavior and Diet Both vultures and condors share the same unglamorous diet, carrion, which is the polite word for dead animals. They are professional scavengers. Neither condors nor vultures are active hunters of healthy animals. Instead, they soar around looking for animals that have died. This might sound gross to us, but it's a crucial job in the ecosystem. By eating decaying carcasses, they help prevent the spread of disease and clean up the environment. Think of them as nature's cleanup crew, or garbage collectors, with feathers. How they find their food is one interesting difference among vultures. Some vultures have an amazing sense of smell, notably the turkey vulture. A turkey vulture can sniff out a dead rodent hidden in bushes from high in the sky, zeroing in on the scent like a bloodhound with wings. Condors, however, don't rely on smell as much. In fact, condors mostly use keen eyesight to find meals. 
A condor soars high and watches the ground for any sign of carcass or other scavengers gathering. In areas where both turkey vultures and condors live, turkey vultures often act as the scout with their sniffing ability, and then condors follow them or just spot the party from above. Once a dead animal is found, the condor, being larger, will swoop in and take over the feast, much to the turkey vulture's annoyance. But there's a trade-off. Condors can tear open the tough hide of big carcasses with their powerful beaks, which actually helps the smaller vultures get access to the meat too. It's a bit of scavenger teamwork. Now, social life and behavior. Condors and vultures aren't songbirds or playful parrots. Their behaviors revolve around soaring, eating, and roosting. Both condors and most vultures lack a voice for singing. Literally. They don't have a well-developed voice box, so they can't sing or call like many birds. Instead, they hiss, grunt, or snuffle. A condor or vulture at a carcass might hiss like a giant angry goose to warn others away. It's a rough, almost snake-like sound. This silence adds to their eerie mystique when you see them glide overhead. They're big, but very quiet. In flight, we already talked about how condors are steady gliders and vultures wobble a bit. But what about at rest or in groups? Condors are actually pretty social with each other. They will roost together and even engage in what looks like play. California condors, for example, have been observed playfully tugging at each other's feathers or curiously investigating new objects together. They also have a social hierarchy, especially noticeable at feeding time. Among Andean condors, the oldest males usually eat first, then younger males, and females often have to wait their turn. They settle disputes mostly by bluffing and posturing rather than fighting because a bad injury could be a big problem for a bird that needs to fly. Vultures, like turkey vultures, are a bit less structured in hierarchy, and they're often seen alone or in small groups when feeding. However, vultures do congregate as well. Many vultures, turkey vultures included, form large roosts at night. Sometimes dozens will roost in a dead tree or on a cell phone tower together. Black vultures are even more social. They often hang out in family groups and roost in big communal groups, sometimes causing a ruckus or a mess in the neighborhood. If one vulture finds a great feeding spot, others will follow. They seem to communicate or at least observe each other to locate food. Another difference in behavior comes from their daily travel and flight patterns. Condors with those giant wings are built to travel far. A California condor or Andean condor can cover roughly 200 miles in a single day, just searching for food. They can soar as high as 15,000 to 20,000 feet in altitude over mountains. That's way up in the sky, cruising on mountain updrafts. Vultures like turkey vultures also travel long distances. Turkey vultures even migrate thousands of kilometers seasonally. But on a day-to-day -day basis, a turkey vulture's range is smaller and they tend to fly lower when searching for food than a condor might. Other Differences and Facts Let's touch on a couple of other interesting differences. One is lifespan and reproduction. Condors live life in the slow lane. These birds can live a long time. The condor's lifespan is estimated at over 60 years in the wild. They take five to six years just to reach adulthood. And when it comes to raising young, condors are not in a rush. The condor pair usually raises only one chick every two years because the parents invest over a year in nurturing a single offspring. In contrast, many smaller vultures like the turkey vulture reach adulthood faster and often raise two chicks every year. A turkey vulture might live 15 to 20 years in the wild, which is respectable, but nowhere near grandma condor's potential 60 years. This slow reproduction is one reason condors are so vulnerable as a species. Their populations grow very slowly. If a bunch of condors die off, it takes many years to replace them. Vultures, while facing threats too, have a bit faster turnover. Before we wrap up, let's address their public image. Vultures in general often get a bad rap. People use vulture as an insult or think of them as dirty or evil birds. Condors, on the other hand, have been revered in some cultures. The Andean condor is a national symbol of several South American countries and is associated with myths and legends portraying it as a noble creature. 
But when you strip away the folklore, both condors and other vultures are just birds that evolved to do an important job. They're not mean or malicious, they're just really into free meals that no one else wants. And yes, they both sometimes look a bit ugly to our eyes, but there's a certain majestic quality to them as well. Seeing a condor glide across a blue sky, or a kettle of vultures riding a thermal, is an awe-inspiring sight. Next time you see a big dark bird circling overhead, you can ask yourself, am I in condor territory? Is it unbelievably gigantic with white wing patches and hardly flapping at all? Then you might just be looking at a condor. If it's not, it's likely one of the many hard-working vultures doing its cleanup job. Both condors and vultures deserve respect for the work they do. They may not be cute and cuddly, but they are absolutely fascinating once you get to know them. So, whether it's a mighty condor riding the mountain winds or a flock of humble turkey vultures tidying up the roadside, you now know the difference between these two remarkable birds. Keep your eyes on the skies, you never know what you might spot, and now you can tell which is which.